It's the Carolina Panthers taking on the New Orleans Saints. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New Orleans Saints and the Carolina Panthers. The wait is finally over. Brandon God and Charles Davis here on the start of a new NFL season, and we kick it off with a bang on Thursday night. What's interesting about these Thursday night games is oftentimes we hear people say, is it really fair for players to Christian McCaffrey and that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out that's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down the defense was ready for the run pass option diagnosed it perfectly not only did they stack him up at the point of attack but he was met by a host of light colored jerseys So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of 12 brings up third and less than a yard. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. And a loss of three to bring up four. Now so much for picking it up on the ground on third down. Third play of the drive in this defense showing strong early. I wonder how much of that was scouting. I wonder how much of that was a gut feeling like, okay, let's just go ahead and sell out here and get after them thinking they're going to run the football and stuff them early because they've now set the tone. They've set a precedent right here. That if you're going to try and run the ball against us, it could be hard going throughout this game. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. So here come the Saints now for their first drive. They'll be led out by a longtime starter in the NFL, a former number one overall pick way back in 2009. It's Matthew Stafford. And his arm strength is often described as out of this world. And I've seen some throws out of him that are just really off the charts. But sometimes he relied on his arm so much his footwork got in the way. Led to some inconsistency. But I've loved watching him evolve as a quarterback. He gets better and better each year. Give him nine there on the first down completion. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the 42-yard line. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. Looking to throw on third and one. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Matthew Stafford. Whenever you see a team deciding to throw the ball on third and one, as a defensive player, my mindset is we've got them now, and that's why they dialed up the blitz and got after them. 
but occasionally you want to pass it on third and one. I mean, not a lot for sure, but sometimes just to keep the defense guessing. Oh, no doubt. You want to break tendencies as you go along with the game because you don't want them to just say, oh, third and one, we know exactly what they're going to do. But in this situation, as an offensive lineman, as a running back, I want to know why I didn't get the football. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. They went three and out on their first drive of the new season. Not an ideal beginning as they start drive number two, first and ten. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. This is going to be a Panthers first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. That's good. We're on Carolina. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 43-yard line. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Nine yards the pick up there, and it's a first down. throw and he fires one that's intercepted picked off near the 44 past the 20 and they will finally get him but not until he's all the way down inside the 15 yard line they'll take over and brandon this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out okay where is he going with the football because you can make an educated guess defensively not all the time but sometimes and when you're right you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. They were forced to punt on their initial drive of the new season. Now they're ready to go as they begin again with a first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Well, I know defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited by what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Saints have taken the early lead. 
On that sideline, they're saying that was more like it. The first down run went backwards, that time into the end zone. And I like their little bit of courage and play calling, too, because after an unsuccessful run, especially one where you lose yardage, you oftentimes go right to throwing the football. They came right back with a running play, and it paid off handsomely. Will Lutz on for the point after. And it's good as the Saints have a 7 to nothing lead. Just a four-play drive that time. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And he'll look to rebound from the early interception that led to six points the other way. And when he threw the interception and he had to come to the sideline, I guarantee his first thought wasn't about the interception itself, but what could result. And I know he was thinking to himself, come on, defense, bail me out. Well, they weren't able to in this situation. Now he's got to go out and atone for it himself, but he can't force things. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second. Here's a second and seven. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll run with McCaffrey. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. It's a gain of four. Makes it third and a quick throw here. That's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. I like the call on third and two. They were geared up to stop the run. I like the fact they just hit him quick. A little slant route. All about timing there, partner. Yeah, the timing, everything well executed. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he stopped immediately there. And oh, Johnson dinged up a bit. Still down. Hopefully nothing serious. Boy, not what you want to see in quarter one of the new year. We'll be back. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Back to throw. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. To five yards, now it's third and five. It's a gain of five. Brings up third and five. Out of the gun now on third down. And Davis has it over the middle. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Josh Jackson, the former Iowa Hawkeye, made the play defensively. Josh Jackson on the tackle. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the Saints 25-yard line. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's McCaffrey. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. 
Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First and 10 at the 17-yard line. First red zone opportunity for the Panthers thus far. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. And they'll run it here. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. He was brought down at the 10-yard line. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline. But what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. On the ground, McCaffrey, and he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Taking it in for two yards out, and the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. And nothing special there. They showed they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight-ahead power, and they got it done. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. That drive a long one, spanning 15 plays. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. So all even at 7 now as they kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. From the gun, here's Stafford. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. To number 47. It's a gain of four, and it's third down. Throwing on third down, Stafford. 
Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. Ah, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. The Carolina offense about ready to go. This offense, thankful, I'm sure, to have the football back. But also, Charles, after a long drive of their own, they've got to be a little weary. Yeah, I would agree with that. And what you have to do to combat it, try and get fresh legs in where you can, especially the skill positions. And then for the offensive line, instead of attacking, maybe slow the tempo down a little bit. Let them catch their breath. Three yards to gain there, second down. 7-7, our score after one. With the score tied, seven to seven. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback, but as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. A seven-yard pickup brings up Stafford. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantlick. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A gain of 13. It's a first down. A gain of 13 yards. Now a handoff here to his running back. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Number 47. Now a second down and six. At the 23-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down, stopped at the Panthers' 18-yard line. It's a game of five. Stafford on third down. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And he is going to have a Saints first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. And the Saints first down. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. And strong running there as he's inside the ten and down to the eight-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Second and five now. Stafford. And it's caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Complete. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. Stafford now to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Now whistles here, and it looks like we've got a Panther that's having some difficulty down there getting up. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. The 
eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. Now those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure, good coverage downfield, and then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice game. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole and just go, it's sometimes a thing of beauty. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. This is McCaffrey on the give. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. 10 more yards. Marshawn Lattimore on the tackle. And to give this time to the tailback. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh -huh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. The Panthers on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to get to the 31. Enough for the first down. It'll be a pickup of just two. And it's going to yield a new set of downs. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force, and they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Another carry. He was brought down by Eric Wilson. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuck the run. Over the middle, open is Thomas. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. And seven. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. That's good. And he is going to have the Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. Draw play to the running back. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight. Sliding out of the pocket. Now he'll pull it down. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. An 18-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers have taken the lead. Sometimes positions become interchangeable. The quarterback became a running back and took it the distance for a touchdown. Gano now to add the extra point. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. 
So that one along 11 play drive. And a nice play on the end of it. An 18 yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. At their own 23-yard line. Here comes Michael Thomas and the rest of the Saints offense. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now, and they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. And you know the guys on defense are aware as well, and they're really excited that he has no catches, but they're also worried because a lot of times that's like the ticking time bomb. The longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, though, so far in this game. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Out of the gun, Stafford. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Phillips. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. It's a gain of six. And it's third down. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Phillips. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Ten yards, good for a Saints first down. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag, that guy could be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for them, too. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Stafford. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Oh, and after the sack, he's still down on the field. Oh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Stafford. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. But it brings up Stafford. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Defense was thinking run, and they're dealt a pass of just under 20 yards. First down, Saints. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the 35-yard line. Looking to throw on second down. Stafford throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Stafford's pass. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. A gain of six yards, and it's... Third down. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Operating from the gun. Stafford. Oh, a hit. He lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. Now it looks like we're going to time out as there's a Saints player down here on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Now Lutz for the field goal try. This from 54 yards away. 54-yard attempt. 
and this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. 26-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who've been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys <laughs> on the other side of the football, and they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellows. Not an easy thing for them to do. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Two yards on the pickup. It's and he'll give it here to his running back. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up at the half, we'll hand things off to Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll have scores from earlier today, plus a look ahead as well, so you won't want to miss that. A lot going on here in week one. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. On third down, he obviously wants to throw the football, but there's nowhere to go with it, so he takes off and goes. And now that he gets to the first down marker, he blows right past it and picks up big yardage. Partner, that's a great bit of improvisation. to throw here on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Looking to go back to Thomas again, but it's going to be second down. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Taken down and the D tackle, Sheldon Richardson, came barreling in for the sack. It's fourth down. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on to punt for Carolina. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. And now let's look at the quarterback, Matthew Stafford, in our player spotlight. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it struggles. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When, when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground. But that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. Six brings up second and four. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now it's Stafford. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Third and two, Stafford. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also into field goal range at the 28. A gain of nine yards. And the Saints first down.
And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. So we have reached halftime here in the Thursday night opener. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, good to get another season underway. We'll get back to you guys for the second half of the season opener. But first, let's take a look at what's still to come here in the opening weekend of the NFL season. In the early window, we'll have our eye on that game in Jacksonville. The Jaguars going to need to be on their A game as they'll face off against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Plenty to like about the late afternoon games as well. As you see by the highlight, these guys are in for a battle. Take it on the Pittsburgh Steelers. And lastly, Monday Night Football has a good one lined up between the Cleveland Browns and the Baltimore Ravens. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And the half will begin with a touchback. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here at half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Got it. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. But fortunately, the Saints were able to hold on to it, so they will indeed keep possession. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. Pass hauled in by the 6'4 tight end Sternberger. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. From the gun, Stafford gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. A gain of five, brings up second and five at their 49. Now they try the right side here. Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. The tackle, they'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. Brings up third down. Throwing a Stafford. This is complete to Michael Thomas. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Four yards. It's now fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New Orleans. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. At their own 27 yard The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Hey, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. The ball carrier. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Another run, this time McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Six yards, the pick up, and that's a first down. First and ten at the third. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. 
Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Normally, that's not the down and distance that you call a draw play. You're usually wanting to wait to second or third down with a definite passing situation before that play is dialed up. Second and 11 now. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Complete to Curtis Samuel. Brings up third down. Out of the gun now on third down. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 15 there. The Panthers have a first down. The 38-yard line. Sideline pass that's caught by Thomas. The pass. And he gets it down to the 32. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. And five at the 32 yard line. Now an option play on second down. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. He was brought down at the 28 yard line. That's a gain of four. Brings up third. McCaffrey. One. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Christian. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. Carolina. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Single, single. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Curtis, Curtis Samuel there to make the grab. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you've taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. It's good, and it's 21-10. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. At their own 27-yard line. The Saints again ready to go on offense. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. And to give this time to the tailback. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. The tackle by Brian Burns. No gain on the play. Brings up second. Throwing on second down. Stafford making the catch is Sternberger. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. A gain of eight yards. And it's third down. Now a handoff here to his running back. 
And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. He'll get a couple yards on that one, and it'll give him a fresh set of downs. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, here's Stafford. Off to Thomas on the left side. Stafford's pass. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. No gain on the play, second and 10. At the 37-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. Make it now three tackles for a loss in this game, one for each quarter. And for a guy who played defense in college, I can just tell you that he's feeling very satisfied right now by what he's doing. But he's elated because he knows what he's doing is helping his team win the game right now. Making some big time plays, getting into the offense's backfield and spilling everything. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Stafford's pass. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. A gain of 14. And the Saints first down. at Stafford. This one to the right caught by Valdez Scantling. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. Number 38. And it's a 7-yard carry to set them up with a 2nd and 3. And to give this time to the tailback. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. The five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. First and goal at the four-yard line. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. New Orleans. A great play there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Saints are back within a score. Well, two touchdowns scored. I know his team's happy. His coaches are happy. How about the fantasy owners of this game? Always happy with two, but they'd like three or four. Now Sean Payton going to say, let's go for two on this one. They'll try and run it here. 
And he will find the end zone again. So he gets the touchdown and the two-point conversion. And that will cut this deficit down a little bit further. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. At their own 23-yard line. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. throwing here to start the drive. Open man is Samuel, complete. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. At the 29-yard line. This is McCaffrey. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. He's brought down at the 31. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up third down. They'll go to the air here on third and two. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. I like the fact that they didn't overcomplicate things on that call. Third and two, just run the quick little hitch, which they did. Ball's out of quarterback's hands, and yes, indeed, they pick up the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. to throw and a quick throw here that's complete the pass a gain of three last play this time they double it and pick up six pick up of six brings up second and four at the there's a throw over the middle it's taken in by his tight end and he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48 that one a first down pickup of eight. First and ten at the 48 yard line They'll look to throw again. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. McCaffrey and he's going to be stopped here for no gain and that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play and we're back now in Charlotte it's been a very hotly contested game to this point just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter now he'll look to throw here on second and ten and on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Brings up third down and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Throwing the out route, incomplete. It's Thomas. And he is going to have the Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. To the ground attack here it's McCaffrey and able to break one tackle but then quickly brought down but a nice little game Defense. well we looked at each other right